How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. So today we are doing a review of the Pipes High Clearance uh, Catback Exhaust System. So about three weeks ago I installed this thing on the Jeep and if you would like to check out the install video I'll put a link right here. Just click on that and head on over to the video and see how easy it is to install the exhaust. Now I will say the hardest part is getting your stock exhaust off of the Jeep. Now I have gone on a few off-roading trips with this exhaust and I have had it on for about three weeks. In that time I have driven about 800 miles, give or take, and it has given the exhaust some time to burn in. Now the exhaust note has mellowed out just a little bit, but this thing still sounds very aggressive. Okay, so like I said, I've had this exhaust on for about three weeks now, and it still sounds amazing. Uh, one of the things about this exhaust that I will say is the end cabin noise is a lot more pronounced. I'm pretty sure you can hear it now. However, when you go to a performance exhaust like this and a smaller muffler, this is to be expected, especially if you want a more aggressive exhaust note. Uh, driving around town, it's not terrible. Now, driving on an interstate at highway speeds is what most of us are going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. This is an acceleration from zero to highway speed, so you can hear what the exhaust will sound like. I am doing 60 miles an hour at a steady speed and in cabin exhaust note this is what you will hear. It's not terrible, it's not very droning and a little bit of radio volume will cover up any sound that you may or may not hear. So overall my impression of this exhaust is that it's awesome. I love the sound, I love everything about it. Um, Especially for $250 around that area, you can't beat the price. You can pay a lot more for a Flowmaster and you'll get the polished exhaust tips and all that stuff, but on a Jeep, especially if you're taking it off-road, I don't really see the point of all that. Um, this exhaust is very utilitarian. You're not getting all the frills of a $400, $500 exhaust. You're getting the bare minimum of what you need for an off-road exhaust. It's not polished, there's no extra frills, and for $250 around that area, you're getting everything that you need to install this exhaust. You're getting all the hardware, you're getting all the exhaust hangers, and you really can't beat it. Would I recommend this exhaust? Absolutely, I would recommend this. If you're looking for a more aggressive exhaust note and just something to get rid of the stock muffler, this is absolutely for you, especially for the price point. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. It really helps me out. Till then, hope to see y'all on the trail.